Hi everyone, I haven't seen you for a while. This is Gabriel as usual, with a fresh review of one of the latest affordable devices, which can become a good choice for your digital signage installation. Recently, a huge number of Android TV devices from different manufacturers have literally flooded the market of hardware, and they can be used as digital signage players, obviously. But uh, what should the established leaders do in this situation? Well, for example, to produce the model, which is almost identical to the previous device from the line, but mark it as light and decrease the price by $10. So, okay guys, let's see what the new Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite 2021 has to offer for us. In fact, the box and its design do not differ, as we can see, in any way from the previous version except for the addition of a small light badge on it. Uh, the device itself has support for Full HD resolution, Wi-Fi of fifth generation, and uh, support for Alexa voice remote. Um, and those marked as light, there's a full core 1.7 gigahertz processor on board with a one gigabyte of RAM and only eight gigabytes of storage. Uh, the system usually takes up like half of it, but this is certainly enough for, for a streaming device, for a streaming device. But honestly, this is quite a poor uh, choice for professional digital signage. So let's see what's in the box. So I've just unpacked it for you guys, and uh, let's take a look at the package bundle. So yes, as you can see, everything was nicely packaged and not badly stocked in the box, and I would give it a 5 out of 5 for completeness. And there's an HDMI extender, which is like a rarity. Branded batteries, there we go, branded batteries from Amazon. A full flash power supply. And uh, all those such devices can also be powered by, directly by the TV with confident USB. Um, this, is, this is great that it comes with that. The main question is, what's the difference between the new model and the full version without the light prefix? If we plan to use the Amazon Fire Stick TV Stick for digital signage, then there's absolutely no, di no difference, none at all. So look at the picture of the, of the comparative characteristics. Let's see. They're absolutely identical. The only change is in the stripped down functionality of the Alexa voice remote and the remote itself. But we only need it for initial setup while pairing it with the, while pairing it with the Look Digital Signage software. So, uh, now that we know that, let's see the installation and the tests. I need to say that surely there's a certain discomfort when the device doesn't allow you to use it without logging into the service of the same name. So there's a couple of extra steps and, and as a result, it's, it's a wasted time obviously, because you must have to create, like you must create an Amazon account if you don't have one already. Like they think, they believe, they think that most of us has one, but maybe you don't. And if you use it for like, let's say 20 screens, it will be quite difficult to activate every device. And, and more than that, Amazon engines may see some, some, suspicious, some suspicious activity in your actions if you do that. So, okay. Once you've gone through all the stages of updating and authorizing and, uh, and inside the Amazon service, things go um, uh, like much faster if you could go through that, and I'm sure you could. <laughs> so find the Look Digital Signage application in the Amazon App Store and install it and launch it. Obviously, several permission agreements and, uh, that we're really familiar with and the six digits code is, is already in the, on the screen. So let's send it onto uh, like something in Full HD. Because as you might remember, this is the maximum resolution that we can achieve with this. We also split the screen and we'll use different application in, in uh, each zone at the same time. Well, quite a good result, I should say. Everything works without visible mistakes from interruptions. But as I said before, there are many restrictions for using this, uh, this device for DS. One thing is the difficulty of launching, especially in case you're going to power several screens. Inability to use the screen in vertical mode 
because the Fire Stick firmware doesn't, uh, doesn't support rotation, unfortunately. Uh, quite a small amount of internal memory, and there's no slot for its expansion, unfortunately. This is a mistake as well that they made, but just look at the price. The price is amazing, like it's only $29, really, it's, it's, it's amazing, per device. And um, it is definitely the first place among devices that can be used for digital signage installations. Um, so there are some restric restrictions about it, but it's, it's still very good. So if your network is not supposed to have high resolutions and heavy content, or if you're not going to use dynamic digital signage apps based on online streaming, feel free to try this Amazon Fire TV Stick uh, Lite 2021 without any doubt because it's really amazing. So, okay, this is all for today, I guess. So choose wisely. In my turn, I'll get back to, to some preparation for next time for the new video reviews and stuff like that. So see you in the next video. See you next time. Take care. Always yours, Gabriel. Don't forget to like, you know, subscribe. So see you in the next video.